Hey everyone, welcome to the Skillshop. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can set up Java JDK 8 in Ubuntu Virtual Machine. As we need Java JDK 8 for Hadoop single node clusters, Spark, Hive and so on. So that's why this is the first step to set up our data engineering lab. So for that, let's go and download Java JDK 8 if you don't have. For that, go in the browser and search for Java JDK 8. You will be directed to the first link which is from Oracle and you can see Java SE 8. So here you can see Java SE 8 archive JDK downloads, right? So from here you can see there are lots of Dif uh, files for different operating systems are mentioned here. Our Ubuntu is x64 bit version. So Linux x64 bit is perfect for us. That is 185.05 MB. And you can see this is a tar.gz file, right? So as soon as you click on it, it will start uh, ask for the it will ask for the permission. And uh, just as you click on this, it will start downloading. If it asks for uh, email ID and password, so just create a new account and give it. So I am going to minimize this as I have already downloaded the Java JDK. So you can see if I go in my downloads. So you can see here Java JDK uh, tar.gz file is downloaded already. Okay. So let's open our terminal with Control Alt and T. So I have opened the terminal. Let's change the font size of terminal for better visibility. Okay. So here let's go to the downloads folder. Okay. Now we are in downloads folder. If I do ls, you can see JDK. This file is here, right? So Let's unzip this file for that tar dash xvzf and then we need to provide the jdk and you can see with the tab this file is here. If I hit enter it will start unzipping the file. Yes, now we have successfully unzipped the file and you can see this file is here. So we will save this folder JDK folder at a specific location from where every user for this Linux operating system can access this. So for that, let's create one folder. Sudo sudo is for because uh, we are going out of scope of this user slash users for all user local. And we need to create a folder. So mkdir is here. Yeah. Okay, and our folder name should be Java. If I hit enter, it will ask for password. Okay, now folder is created. So let's go to that directory cd user local Java. You can see, or if I go one directory back and ls, you can see. Java directory is there, right? So let's go to our directory again cd home my user Akshay and then downloads. Okay, now we need to move our this folder there. So for that sudo mv and uh, our folder name is JDK okay JDK one dot eight dot zero underscore two zero two okay this is our folder and uh, we need to move this to slash users local java 
and we need to copy paste this again paste and i will hit enter okay now we have moved the folder so let's go to that directory users local java and let's ls here so now you can see the directory is here okay now we need to update the alternatives for this so for that use the command sudo okay let's first check the thing cd okay let's go to this directory jdk and let's do ls here so now here you can see let's again go in bin directory now you can see we have all the things here so we need to set up the alternative for this java or this java c and java ws okay for that let's do sudo update alternatives install then we need to provide the path slash users local java let's we need to provide the path again And after that one and hit enter so you can see update alternative here alternative link this is already managed okay so let's do it for others as well sudo update alternative install users okay now update alternative warning forcing reinstallation of alternative user this okay link group java c is broken okay let's do it for other as well sudo update alternative error you can see creating symbolic link this okay now we have completed this successfully okay now let's export the path for that we need to open sudo gedit 
tilde slash dot bash rc okay so now this is our bash rc file and we need to go to the bottom and in bottom we need to do export java home equals to slash user slash local slash java then export path equals to dollar path colon let's save this file and let's close the terminal let's close the terminal this again and let's open the new terminal again okay so we have installed java jdk successfully for uh, checking it is installed successfully you need to check the command java space hyphen version yes now you can see here java version 1.8.0202 is installed successfully right so in this way we can set up java jdk 8 on our ubuntu virtual machine this is all for this video if you find any difficulty uh, in setting up the java jdk 8 then please uh, feel free to ask the questions in the comment section below and if you think this video is helpful to you then it might be helpful for others as well. So please share this video with the needy ones and we will see you in the next video. Till then, subscribe our channel, like this video and happy coding.